Hello, it's Michael here, and I'd like to share with you today about settings in connection with email. I receive a lot of emails from LinkedIn, and I've decided because of the quality of LinkedIn's app today, there is no need for me to get so many emails. So where you go is you go to privacy and settings and I'm going to illustrate this both on the desktop and also on the app inside LinkedIn because the great thing is now certain user interfaces between the desktop and the app are looking very very similar and therefore it is easier for us to flick back and forth and make changes knowing they are going to be in place on the desktop as well. So we want to go into privacy and settings and then we go to communications. So once we're in communications now we can click on email frequency and it will give you all of the different options of emails that you receive and there are a lot as you can see and a lot of these are coming to you daily unless you change the settings. So let's just have a look at the first one. This is to do with invitations of people that want to get connected to you. So the main choices here are individual emails or recommended, which means that LinkedIn will send you a summary if you're getting a lot. This is quite useful because if you've been to an event and you say connect with people, connect with me on LinkedIn or you go to a networking event or you're speaking somewhere, you do get a lot of single invites. If you do a summary, you may want to react fairly quickly to those. So I wouldn't recommend weekly because unless you're just super, super busy, I would really select the recommended, but it's up to you this is where you change it. Uh, as far as accepted invitations are concerned, I would definitely have those as individual emails. And I'll share with you a tip by Bryn Tillman, who suggests that any accepted invitation emails should be filtered on your email inbox to go to a folder where you can get to it and take some positive action which every single one. So Bryn, thank you for that tip. That's really important. Important also is to have all these invitations coming to you. So this is one that I would definitely have as on in terms of emails. Now the others, as you can see, I've got them all switched off and I've only done this very, very recently, realizing how many different emails I receive. So these are messages. Now, messages I'm now seeing very clearly on my app. And therefore, I'm on my app every single day. And when messages come in there, I can read them, I can interact with them, actually in a much better way than I can on LinkedIn. So I would switch them off if you are using the app regularly. And I've switched all of them off. These are messages from connections, emails and introductions, profiles sent to you, etc. All of that should be in your LinkedIn messaging now. So that's my recommendation. It's up to you. Notifications regarding news and activity related to your profile and what you share. Again, notifications are recorded on the app and here we still have the little flag in terms of notifications and it's not as useful, I have to say, as getting or seeing notifications on the app. Therefore, whether it's endorsements, news about your profile, mentioned in the news, comments on posts you publish, etc. I would recommend to have those off as well. Again, this is to help to reduce the amount of emails you receive and also to allow you to interact on the app much more. Then the next one is network updates to do on your connections. 
So whether they appear in the news, any new connection suggestions, when your contact joins LinkedIn, all of these, to be honest, I don't need to get these. I'm looking at my network, I'm seeing their updates, I'm interacting with them. I don't want to receive another email about this. The next one is jobs and opportunities. If you are looking for a job, then it may be useful to have that selected as on. But if you're not, then just switch it to off. News, this is to do with recommendations of articles that you should be reading from within Pulse. It's quite a useful email and I did have this switch to weekly to begin with, but I've now switched it to off because I'm really not interacting as much with the, those articles and they're not interesting to me. I prefer to go to the Pulse app if I want to see any news or go through my news feed. It's the best way to do that. Again, inside the app. Group updates. Now, I've, I belong to about 100 groups or so now, which I think is the maximum. And I've decided to switch it to off because groups are losing its value inside LinkedIn, I believe. And I'm not actually that interested in getting notifications about articles that people are just putting in there or spamming inside groups. So I will go to groups, dare I say it again, inside an app, but there is a dedicated groups app, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And inside those, you can interact with what's going on inside groups in a much better way than you can even on the desktop here. And then there might be some messages from LinkedIn. Well, that is great. And I'm sure I will see them in a blog post from LinkedIn. I don't particularly need to get an email from them. So I've switched that to off as well. I don't actually get a lot of these. So as you can see, I've really, really reduced that. And I've done that on purpose because I've monitored that I'm getting around 22 or so different types of emails coming in from LinkedIn that are taking me a lot of time to digest and go through. Whereas in actual fact, I'm already interacting with my LinkedIn now on the app. So let's just have a look at the app just very briefly. So on the app then, um, I'm just here on my home page and this is the iPad app, but it's very, very similar and identical to the iPhone app. Uh, apologies to Android users. I'm sure it will be the same there in some way. And if I click on me and then tap on the cog or the wheel top right, then here we go. We're, we're in settings now. And in exactly the same way, very similar user interface, I tap on communications. And this is where you're told then about your push notification. So that is obviously different from the, from the desktop. So you decide where you want to get push notifications. Now I'm sharing this with you or showing you because this is where in a lot of cases, you would have received an email for each of those. So if somebody likes your update, comments, comments after you on an update, shares your update, likes your article, and all of these, generally speaking, you would have had an email from. So if you switch all of those on the app to on, then you can switch off all the emails. And as you will see, if I now look at the email section, in here, it looks exactly the same way as the desktop version. It, the layout is just slightly, slightly different, but it shows you exactly what I did already on the other areas. So there's an, there's an identical match. So at any time, if you change your mind, you can do it on the app or you can do it on the desktop. It doesn't matter. The two are identical. So you can see everything else that I had done previously is also switched off on the app. Right, I mentioned very briefly earlier on that there are a couple of other apps that you can do stuff in. One of them is the Pulse app. This is obviously the Pulse news that you subscribe to 
and also news from the connections and if I quickly click on the top right um, cog then you'll see that you can ask for notifications and that's why I don't need to receive the emails because if I'm active inside this app I can get everything that I want from here the other one is the groups app and same again I don't need to receive emails from groups because I can look at the notifications that I might be getting certain key areas that I need to to look at myself and I can look at the highlights and that are coming through in terms of comments and articles and as you can see most of what's being posted inside groups these are no longer discussions you can search for a group you can see which ones having most conversations these are the two other apps that are quite useful to use in conjunction now the beauty is that when you're inside LinkedIn at any time can you see those um, nine squares top right if you tap on that you can jump to I don't know why the pulse app isn't listed on there it should be but I can quickly tap and go to the groups app and I can interact there wherever I left off so you don't always need to move outside of LinkedIn you can just flick back to it really easily so that's the tip for today amend the communications the emails that you're getting from LinkedIn switch on the push notifications inside the app either on mobile or on tablet and that way you can interact on the app in a much better way than you even can inside the desktop and the two settings are mirrored anyway so you, you're good to go if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me uh, and I hope it works out staying alive UK share your story